This video will show you how to add metal backing, metal dummies, and virtual teeth to an RPD design. First, we advise you to watch our RPD video series to learn more about order creation, scanning, and design for this type of restoration. As usual, create a new case in the Dental Manager. For our video, we are choosing teeth 12, 22, 25, and frame anatomy pontic which will create the metal backing. Next, teeth 16, 27, and anatomy crown pontic, in order to create metal dummies. Last but not least, for the antagonist preparation, we are choosing teeth 36, 37, 46, and anatomy artificial tooth. When you've done that, select all teeth and click on the Removable tab. Remember that all materials and the manufacturing process for each tooth should be the same. Scan models or import scans and move to the dental designer. In the Surveying and Blocking Out step, you can view the models, make some adjustments, and when you are ready, click Next. Here you can add, remove, or smooth the blocking out wax especially in the areas where clasps will be placed later on. After that, click Next. Being in the anatomy design step, adjust the position for each tooth and their shape according to the neighbors and antagonist. It's important to mention here that teeth 16 and 27 are our metal dummies. Make sure that their shape and placement is correct. Use all available tools from the Sculpt menu. The artificial teeth are shown here in order to help you design the RPD base. Two incisors and a premolar will have a facial reduction, made in a further step. When you are ready, click Next. The next step is frame design. In our case, we will click on tooth 12 and then on the Pontic Creation tab to adjust its shape. Now, from the drop down menu, we are choosing Facial Reduction. We will do the same for teeth 22 and 25. And move to the Sculpt substep. With the help of the Morphing tool, we hollow out the facial surface of our Pontics to decrease their weight. After doing that, click Next. Now it's time for RPD frame design. Here you create connectors, place clasps, add retention grids, and whatever else is needed. The whole step was explained in our RPD design video. By watching that, you can learn more. For the purposes of this video, we have created the design, and we will move to the finalized step. If you need to, you can use the available tools and sculpt the whole RPD structure then move to the pre-manufacturing step. In here, you can make a retention on the facial surface of the Pontix for the acrylic. For that, choose the desired diameter of the support bars and place them parallel to the Pontix. Then, right-click on it and choose the Split option. Adjust their shape and position. And when you are ready, click Next. At the Save step, you can view the whole design. And if you need to make some changes, go back or click Close to send the prepared design for manufacturing. You have now learned how to add metal backing, metal dummies, and virtual teeth to RPD. We hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.